Welcome to our daily reflection from St Denis Church, Lisvain. Our theme today is Whole World Worship. Formed on the 7th of April 1948, just over a month before the modern state of Israel, headed by Dr Tedros Ghebreyesus, the World Health Organization states its main objective as ensuring the attainment by all peoples of the highest possible level of health. We've become familiar with their coronavirus briefings to the world's media, and their advice is universally accepted, well almost universally, as being applicable to every nation on earth, to the whole world. Roughly 3,000 years ago, King David, King of Israel, also had some advice for the whole world. It was probably used as a song back in David's day, but I am going to read, rather than sing, a few verses from it to you now. Psalm 96 O oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. David encourages, urges, exhorts, not just his people, but all the earth, the whole world, to praise and worship God with a new song. He continues by urging us, the whole world, to bless or praise his name, to tell or proclaim his salvation, to declare or publish his glory among the nations, his marvellous works among all the peoples. Why? Verse 4. For great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. Our 21st century gods are no different to the gods of humanity down the ages. Health and wealth, fame, family, power and popularity. We desire them and we fear the loss of them. But David's advice to the whole world, his world health advice, also for all ages and all peoples, is to worship the Lord in the splendour of holiness. Tremble before him all the earth. Ultimately, this is the best health advice the world can ever hear. If we heed it, give up our idols and turn back to our holy God, we will be counted among those from every tribe and language and people and nation, in the Revelation to John, who have been purchased for God by the blood of Jesus. David ends the psalm with a poetic description of how the rest of creation will be transformed when all nations gladly accept the good news of salvation through Jesus Christ, acknowledge his kingship and his rule. Verse 11. The heavens will be glad, the earth will rejoice, the sea will roar and all that fills it, the fields will exult and everything in them. Even the trees of the forest will sing for joy before the Lord. Let us pray. Holy and most splendid God, we worship you, we bow down before you, and we proclaim your glory. We leave at your feet our burdens of care, anxiety, sorrow and uncertainty. Turn our tears to joy, our fears to hope, and our trembling to trust. Help us to leave behind our small gods, and enter your gates with thanksgiving and your courts with praise. We pray for and eagerly await the day when all the earth, the whole world, will sing a new song of praise to the glory of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray. Amen.